Hello and welcome back to the program. Well, as I mentioned before the break, we're now joined by WSRE to talk about their great organization and some events that they have coming up along the Emerald Coast. Joining me now to talk about those are Jill Hubbs and Mary Riker from WSRE. Ladies, thank you so much for coming on the program today. Thanks for inviting us. Absolutely. Uh, first, if you could, you know, a lot of people have probably heard of WSRE, I'm sure, and PBS, but tell me a little bit about your organization and what your mission is here along the Gulf Coast. Well, we are the public uh, television station for the, the Gulf Coast area, this region, and um, you know our mission is really education. We are a TV station, we have great programs, but there is a focus on education in the programming and in the outreach that we do too. Um, we obviously carry the national PBS programming, mm -hmm. but we do a lot of local programming too. Um, we have Studio Amped, which is a great uh, program that features artists from this area, mm -hmm. you know, musicians and with their original songs and lyrics and uh, conversations with Jeff Weeks. We had, you know, a talk, a talk and information show and a lot of other things. We do a lot of with the legislators and of course we have great kids programs, national kids programs. But then it's more than just TV. It's we do a lot of outreach too. Y'all do a lot of outreach in the community, and then we're going to talk about uh, some of those great uh, um, events that you have coming up, and and also a documentary. In fact, let's go ahead and talk about the documentary since we're um, since we're talking about some of the programs great programming. and great yes. programming, right. absolutely and local programming. Mary, tell me a little bit about the documentary you guys are working on right now. Um, our current major film project is a documentary on the music and career of Hank Lachlan. And Hank Lachlan was um, one of the pride of Santa Rosa County. He um, was very popular, a country music artist in the 50s and 60s primarily. His career lasted though almost five decades. He wow. was um, a member of the Grand Ole Opry for 49 years. Wow. His major hit, if you're not familiar with Hank Lachlan, you'll probably be familiar with the um, uh, country standard, Please Help Me, I'm Falling, mm -hmm. that he produced with Chet Atkins and the A-team musicians at Studio um, A, no, Studio B <laughs> in um, um, Nashville. and. Anyhow, we received a grant. Um, you may know that Kim Burns produced a, The History of Country Music, a mega documentary that premiered last fall and it's airing now on WSRE on Friday night still um, and available online for, for members, our passport members. But uh, they uh, put out a, a grant um, that we applied for and received to start production on this. And one thing, one of the things that we learned was that um, we, we had approached it as a local documentary, but it quickly became um, something that we think will have national appeal and we're hoping That's that right. other PBS stations will air it. He is very beloved by the Nashville community and um, we've been blessed with a, a number of artists. Um, Dwight Yoakam and Vince Gill were the first two to, to say we want to participate in this. Vince Gill um, um, says that Hank Lachlan is one of his biggest inspirations yeah. and they're both high tenors and um, Dwight Yoakam had covered his song that he wrote and was also one of his major hits, uh, Send Me the Pillow You Dream On. <laughs> um, and then it led to, um, I was very excited, we were able to interview Dolly Parton. Oh, wow. She really admired Mr. Lachlan and um, covered uh, Send Me the Pillow You Dream On and recorded with him. He he never lost his voice. He kept that high tenor voice even mm -hmm. in his 80s. He recorded two albums. He recorded um, Generations in Song. Um, Dolly Parton sang with him, Send Me the Pillow on that. And um, he recorded a gospel album in his 80s. So the name of the documentary is Hank Lachlan, Country, Country Music's Timeless Tenor, because um, he never lost his voice. He was active all those decades, even into his 80s. And um, um, his music is timeless. Any idea of when the project will be done and when it will air? Our, Ballpark. We're, we're working, <laughs> working really hard on it now. Our plan is to premiere it locally in June. Okay. And um, we're hopeful. This will be the 60th anniversary of the release of Please Help Me, I'm Falling mm -hmm. and his Grand Ole Opry induction. So we're hopeful that other PBS stations will sure. air it um, in commemoration of that anniversary. Well, let's talk about a couple things that will happen before June with some of the events <laughs> that you guys have, have coming up very soon. Uh, you have two big marquee events for the, the, the Gulf, Gulf Area Day, excuse me. 
and Be My Neighbor Day. Tell me a little bit about those two events. Um, the, at the Gulfarium uh, over in Okaloosa County, we do PBS Kids and Family Day, and uh, we will have costume characters out there, and it's just a chance for our friends over in the East to uh, come and, mm -hmm. and have a fun day with us um, at our, one of our partners, which is the Gulfarium. Um, so learn a little bit about marine life, but see some of your favorite PBS characters, too. And then um, Be My Neighbor Day, this will be our third year doing it, and it is right at the state at WSRE over there in College Boulevard and last year we had 2,400 children and families come to this because it features Daniel Tiger from Daniel Tiger's yeah. neighborhood and it's the whole idea behind Be My Neighbor Day is to celebrate the life and works of Mr. Rogers. Sure. Um, it's about being a good community partner, being a good citizen, and just uh, you know being a good neighbor. So we'll have a lot of community organizations with us. Of course, Daniel Tiger will be there. There'll be a trolley there. Uh, lots of fun <laughs> activities for kids and families. It's just a great way to to come and be a part of you know what we do with PBS Kids. Absolutely. Uh, and the dates for those two events. Um for the uh, Gulfarium Day and for Be My Neighbor Day. Gulfarium is March the 7th, um, that's a Saturday, and um, Be My Neighbor Day is April 25th, also a Saturday. And I'm sure people can go to WSRE.org for more information on both and right. times and Absolutely. any kind of uh, related information. But ladies, thank you so much for coming on the program today. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Stay with us when we come back. We'll be in Fort Walton Beach to talk about events in Okaloosa County. <laughs> 